Welcome, my beautiful souls. Um, today we're going to do a love reading, but just not any old love reading. We are doing a non-contact. So this type of reading, I think you really have to pay attention to your intuition um, because I'm asking five very specific questions. So we're, we're bringing all the focus to these questions. Um, so trust your intuition, you know, if it just doesn't sound like you, like, I feel like first and foremost, be very truthful with oneself, um, because some, sometimes we'll see some lovely things and then we're like, why isn't, why isn't it us? You know what I mean? Um, so you got to know your own story. Um, but anyway, that side, we are talking about you know and i have experience with it also so i've been there um and i've been on the side of it so hmm interesting all right so we're going to ask number one their feelings currently for you so how are they feeling right now um about you do they have feelings about you you know whatever it may be uh, we're going to accept. Number two, um, their current view of you. So when they think about you, what, what do they think about, you know? Um, what kind of energy do they feel that you're in? Are you in? Well, I don't know. We'll see. Because the next one will be your current feelings towards them. So that'll tell us a lot about your energy. Um and then number five is where we're just going to let, let it be open. I mean, it's, it's really open, but um, the overall energy that's really supporting this connection. So it's, if, this, if these connections are truly meant to be, um, one energy is behind it. Um, and if they're not, then that's when, you know, because I feel like, you know, sooner or later, if someone is no, con you know, giving me no contact, I might want to take that as an answer. But I feel like that is something you have to ask yourself. Um, or you may simply say, it's been long enough, I'm going to start living my life again. It's not that you're closing a door, so to speak, you're just no longer like putting yourself on hold. Um, and just as it should be. All right. So we can use Mother Mary, but I'm going to use Mother Mary at the end of the reading. Um, just the way I feel it today. We're going to use the Gilded Tarot to clarify or go deeper. Um, we're not going to over clarify. I feel there's, I feel like we need to be in the energy of accepting, of acceptance, you know, um, but we'll see, like I have no expectations. I'm going to let it be whatever it wants to be, but I, but I'm picking up these like subtle, subtle, um, subtle hit hints. I have what I feel is like the masculine and the feminine energy through the um, two decks we're going to use as the ones who are asking and the ones who are answering the questions. So I'm going to let the questions come from the um, the light seers tarot. And I'm going to let the answers come from, well, they're coming from both, really. It's a conversation. Uh, but it's going to be the universal trail. So, actually, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and give them a shuffle. I spend a lot of time shuffling them. But I do like to shuffle them with you here. I also like to give them a cut, which to me is a symbol that I am open and ready.
And we are taking from the bottom of the deck. Uh, from the top of the deck. What am I talking about? That's why I wanted to give a shuffle. Again, I spent quite a, quite a bit of time just shuffling. Thinking about the situation. Allowing myself to feel. Alright. Let's give them a cut. That way they're ready. Hmm. It's almost like question and answer. Alright, wow. Interesting. I feel like everything feels like it's out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to spread them out i'm going to bring the lid down so i don't forget Sorry, it's taking me so long. All right. And we will take that for the first one. So, all right, let's go ahead and just calm our energy. <sighs> Let we'll go of any expectations. Just be open. All right. There are feelings for you right now. Hmm. Oh, my gosh. Look at this, soulmates. Soulmates, look at that. The feeling is for you. You know, it doesn't mean there's not issues and all that. But. Hmm. You know, sometimes distance makes the heart grow stronger. And, um... You don't know what you really have until you lose it. Interesting. I feel like this person is, like, like thinking on an emotional level. Um, I'm trying to think, why did I take all these cards? So, I'm not sure. But I think what I'm going to do is just take the same question and with this perspective, this perspective. Hmm. Hierophant. My faith. My belief. You know, it can be true. It's like the stairway to heaven behind him. And it's like there's light. The staircase is being shown. It is five. So it may want you to question, you know, maybe your belief, your faith in some way. Um, because it's to me, a five consists of some type of a change, but it feels like change that's like done within the light. You know what I mean? So I feel like only good things. Um, also, a card of Taurus, by the way. Interesting. Okay, let's keep going. So, all right, their current view of you. 
Look at this, five cups. Huh. I really want you to trust your intuition because I feel like I want this to be true for you. Um, but I feel like something would, like something within yourself would let, would, you'd feel this. This feels like they're missing you. And I find it interesting because it's five, so maybe something needed to change. Maybe someone was drinking too much. Um, but there's those two cups. There's those soulmates. But this person is like looking at the cups that are knocked over. That's where their focus is at. With the realization, you know, it's like, hmm. I almost feel like something happened or I don't know if it was my own energy, my own doing, you know, my own lack of or temptation towards that called me towards that caused certain actions. And I feel like it's like, I feel like they were in the cloak of the hermit. So I feel like wisdom but I also feel like change, and maybe it's them, right? Like, and you know, that kind of is a personal choice. Interesting is two fives here, and they're both sharing the soulmates. Hmm. One may have had like this earthly struggle, you know, inner temptation. And one other seems to be having like almost like this spiritual awareness. Like, I don't know who you are. Title wise, all I know is how I feel. But I feel along with that may come a change. Are they strong enough? Are they strong enough? Three ones. It's almost like you're their cheerleader. You show them, you know, you showed them the bright side of a situation. At least you tried, I feel. You know, like the, you found the silver lining. This definitely feels like, you know, the three of wands is optimism. And in the five of cups, the opposite energy is the energy of uh, really focusing on what I've lost. You know, the cups that have been knocked over and how they got knocked over again. I do feel like he's wearing the cloak of the hermit. So seeking some wisdom in that. But ultimately, it feels like a free will choice. You know what I mean? Because it may mean the elimination of something. Um, but I feel at the same time that I know you're worth it. But it doesn't mean I can do it. So, it feels like an inner struggle. And it does kind of feel like, like, you know, maybe this was like you were their cheerleader. You know, you were trying to show them a different world, a different view. And I don't feel like it went unnoticed. However. 
It's almost like the temptation of like the devil. If you know what I mean? And the human's ability to resist it before you understand you have this whole spiritual team around you and you are spiritual. You know, it's a power. Because here I feel like this person it like more understands that. Here this person feels like way to the ground. Hmm. All right. Let's keep going. What actions are they currently thinking of taking or they're going to take? You know, they do have a five. Did they make a change? Ooh. Ten of Wands. I don't know. I don't know. Definitely feels like, um, Feels like struggle. Why my screen goes so dark? Trying to push all those wands up. You know, they can do it, but it's not easy. It can be a period of like a lot of responsibility, like all the responsibilities feel like they're on my shoulders. Again, the person who's like trying to carry all these wands is like growing, like the like their muscular frame is growing. So to me, it's like you know they're growing, but it's through like some hard, ooh. Feels like hard lessons. But I almost feel like I have to put myself through it. You know what I mean? Like, I have to. I have to see to completion. And I feel like this person will. But man, I do feel the struggle in it. So, whatever that may mean. All right, well, let's see what's down here. I feel like it's just the opposite perception. Mm, interesting, the full. Do you know that would make perfect sense, right? A new beginning. Now, I feel like if this person completes, you know, like deposits as wands where one thinks they need to go, it's usually like, you know, what I've been through, the experiences. Um, but there feels like this sense of duty to it. Like, I have to complete it. I will complete it. And, um, and I feel like, you know, there's not much we can do except sit back and hope. You know? Um, and if they do then they themselves would also be in the fool's energy. Almost like, you know, am I waiting? Am I already in the fool's energy? Like, just waiting to take that leap, that leap of faith. You know, maybe you also, because I feel like, I feel spirituality, openness, the willing, the willingness, um, even like trying to help but maybe at the same time, it's like, you know, sometimes you have to love from afar. Um, sometimes we can't make people do what they need to do. They have to, like, you know, sometimes it has to come within. Because, honestly, that's where we, we all get our, our sense of courage. You know, which then becomes a sense of power in a good way. I feel like this person gets it, understands that. And I don't know, I feel like here, it's like being ready and open. Okay, interesting. Um, where are we at? Question four, your current feelings towards them. 
Okay, so we're going to go here first. Your current feelings towards them. Look at this. Four of Wands. Hmm. It's a marriage card. Um, this is making a commitment. Man. I feel like if whatever this struggle is could just go away, then it almost kind of feels meant to be. And I feel that this person feels that. But yet, there's some hard energy here. Feels like, you know, I'm ready to make a commitment to somebody. Again, why would I say that so quickly? Well, because I feel that they're my soulmate. I can feel it. I know they're, I, you know, I can even feel their struggle. And maybe that's why I became so much cheerleader. However, you know. You got to know when to pull back also, I guess. And um, who knows, maybe this person wanted to go it alone. Almost like a sense of pride. And I'm not going to say it's a bad thing. Because I feel like it's proving it to oneself first. And it feels important, like, you know, that... That I can prove it to myself first, and then maybe, then I can prove it outwardly. All right, well, let's just see what we get from them. Six of Pentacles. It's like the knowing that things aren't fair. Right? I can't give you what you want, all that you want, all you deserve. Can't be who it is you want me to be, you know, right now. Doesn't mean this person doesn't carry compassion, empathy in their heart, but I feel it's more a sense of pride, um, you know, good or bad, because in a way, you know, it does feel like it's this person's realizations that have to be handled and then eliminated. Um, but I feel like, you know, all the potential. I could see where some of you may have, like, even given this person money to, you know, they could have asked. You maybe not have wanted to, but you did it anyway. Um, because I feel like, I feel like part of those wands, this person's carrying up the heel, could also be guilt for the things like, you know, that I may have asked that maybe I had no right to ask. So, in a way, I'm kind of, I would want them to go through that because it's like self-realization. Um, and however long it takes is, I feel like however long it takes, can't really like be like, you know, cause the fool is like, well, can it be now? Well, I feel like, you know, we don't want to interrupt it in a way. Hmm. But I feel like down here. So open, open to the potential of what this person feels they could be. And they're feeling it from, you know, not just a, like what I want it to be, but truly what they feel it could be. Um, but I also feel like they do have realization of 
some type of struggle this person has. Um, and maybe, again, you were their cheerleader for a while, but things were unbalanced and, you know, because then I feel like there had, there feels like there was this them, you, um, but because it's their struggle. It's almost like the, maybe the universe came between you in some way. All right, where were we? All right, so the overall energy that is supporting this connection. Let's start up here. Hmm, look at this. Four of Swords. Healing. It's kind of beautiful. Do you help heal each other? You know, this is mirrored by the soulmates. And they're looking, they're like connected. You know what I mean? Soul to soul. So it's almost like healing each other. That's so why I feel like this energy here didn't go unnoticed. Uh, but do I love seeing the Four of Swords right now? I do. Especially because I feel like there's this, this struggle up here. A personal struggle. And I feel like if this person could just be... Uh, you know, get this monkey off their shoulder, then they would. And this four swords is beautiful because it's that it's healing. You know, maybe you're sending like this positive, loving energy their way, and who knows. Hmm. Seven of Swords. Then we got two guards. Look at that. But seven of Pentacles. You know, I'm going to be honest. I feel like we're talking about one person's life who. in some way got out of control um, because of something that they're doing. Um, and, you know, I feel like long story short, you know, they carry some guilt. I feel like if you know them, then they definitely feel like you are their soulmate, but it doesn't change the fact that like they know they have to like, whatever this is, kick it, you know, complete it. Get balanced, heal. And down here, it's like, it's almost like you're not even denying who this person was during these periods of time where I feel like it wasn't so good. And I feel like that's the Seven of Swords. And I feel like it's more like communication. Almost immature. Um... It is the energy of taking. They do have the Six of Pentacles, so maybe they are learning, you know, and I already felt that. Like the things weren't balanced. I was the taker, not the giver. Um, I certainly would rather tell someone a lie if it's what I think they want to hear versus the truth. So this, but this is things that they're learn learning. This can definitely be someone who's come from like a difficult childhood. Sometimes it's like a lack mentality. Um, but it is a spiritual lesson at the same time. And then the Seven of Pentacles comes out. Holy cow, it's like meant to be type of energy. It talks about patience. I mean, what are we going to do?
Mm. You know, I feel like in the Seven of Pentacles, that pentacle will become ripe whenever it becomes ripe. But, like, I got to keep nurturing it. But, yeah, at the same time, as I, like, like, as a friend, would I recommend that you just wait? But there's such positive type of energy down here. And I feel like even facing the truth. But I feel like there's a sense of, like, you feel like you're meant to be. And who knows, with the four of swords there, you know, maybe you are truly meant, like, your soulmates. And soulmates can truly help heal each other. Sometimes it was gentle type love. But listen, in the same breath, I feel like if there is no change, then there will be no difference. You know what I mean? That's why the Seven of Pentacles want you to have patience. Because if somebody comes to you still the way that they were and you know I feel broken kind of then there's there will be no difference you'll end up right back where you were you are but I still feel like you whoever's on the bottom I feel like you spent some time like really clearing your own energy and I feel like you have a very optimistic way of looking at the world. And I do feel like you feel like, you know, if, you, if that one thing could just go away, then I feel like you just feel like you could live happily ever after. But, you know... I, feel, I, I don't know what to say, except, like, it is what it is. Um, and I hope and pray that um, this healing is what, is really what happens, you know, truly. Okay. You know, I'm not even going to take any clarifiers because I feel like I know the story. And there's no sense of going beyond that. Um, I feel like it's very clear what the story is. So, you know, this is definitely a time to trust your own intuition again. Again, I feel like there's not much denying of, you know, the things that I know. Like the things that hurt you. Um, that maybe someone, you know, again, told a lot of lies. Um, like, you're not denying that. Because I feel like you can't. You have to be honest. But at the same time, you know, it's funny because you feel like if you pour love on something, you can heal it. But not when it's an inner journey. It's like, to me, like, something their soul came here to try to accomplish. And this first, this person feels like they have a sense of, I need to complete this. It has to be me. So, I'm going to leave it there. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to take Mother Mary over this. You know, what a story the cards can tell. And how so many can relate to one reading. Well, that's because we're all soul connected. You know, I feel like we're just one big soul family. And, um... So we've all had like similar experiences or going through. I feel like we're here to help each other. Maybe.
Maybe we don't know that until we know that. But I know that. All right. Mother Mary. Vice. Prayer. Prayer. Instead of worrying, I pray about this situation to bring about real solutions. So instead of spending your time worrying, you pray about this situation to bring about real solutions. You know, Mother Mary, I asked, what can they do? What can they do? Anything else? Feminine. Feminine. Interesting. I allow my feminine nature to shine brightly as a valuable part of my identity. I allow my feminine nature to shine brightly as a valuable part of my identity. You know, that's the nurturing energy. That's tenderness, who is gentle, right? Gentle, but also powerful. Like gentleness, tenderness. It's not a uh, curse, it's a blessing. It's a power. So, I feel like, you know, it's calling for you to bring out your feminine side. Um, and um, I can just talk about love. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys. What a reading. Um, I thank you. Again, pay attention to your intuition, but definitely know, let me know how you relate to it. Um, especially in this type of reading, because, you know, we're asking specific questions. So, um, what a story it told. I love you guys. See you next time at our table. Bye-bye.